This is my laser friend, Sebley Delisle. I mean, you're everyone's laser friend, aren't you? Yeah. You've done, you've been, you've done Tom Scott. Um, yeah, did Tom. Matt Parker. Yeah. That's... The reason um, we're together now is because I got sent the same video about a hundred times. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I sort of foster this thing of like, I want people to send me stuff, and I, and I genuinely do. Yeah. Uh, but what it means is if, if there's anything popular turns up, then I get sent it a hundred times. That's, this, that's one of the side effects of me saying, hey, send me interesting stuff. Uh, don't stop doing that, by the way. Um, but, uh, and I sent it to you, and I was surprised you'd never seen it, because as a laser person, surely you're going to get sent all the interesting laser things. Yeah, I usually do. So the video is of someone bouncing a bubble off a laser beam. And my first thought was, well, it's fake. But then this guilty part of me thought, what if it's real, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess whenever you see something like this, there's always like the skeptical part and the optimistic part having yeah. a little fight, right? Yeah, yeah. I, there was something about it that didn't quite, that made me suspicious. I think partly because the Reddit video was so poor quality. <laughs> like generally when you get a really poor quality, overly compressed video, it's been around a bit. And, yeah. and often they, they sort of take advantage of the poor quality to hide bits of trickery yeah you know and again it's like this intuition of yeah. like i don't think that's how lasers work and i don't <laughs> think it's how bubbles work but it, and this is the thing it is intuition and yeah. i suppose like as someone who's into science or has a science background it's it's okay to have intuition but then it's not actually it's not a very scientific way of thinking yeah of course so it's good to test your intuition i've had it where i've been setting up lasers in a venue and my back's been to the laser and it's just been hitting my back. Yeah. And because it's scanning around so fast, it makes a sort of clicking noise as it hits your back. I can't explain that, That's but I've got, I've got friends who have worked with lasers as well and they've heard it hitting the floor and stuff like that. So part of me is just really curious, is like, is there a physical force that, you yeah. can, that can do anything? I mean, the, the explanations that I've heard have been along the lines of, uh, the laser heats the air, which produces a current. But again, yeah. like in my experience of bubbles, you know, <laughs> in my 41 years of experience of bubbles, right? You know, because, hey, I mean, I've been playing with bubbles since I was a kid. <laughs> like, the way they bat, like if, if you ever see a bit of bubble uh, uh, it bounce, it's not like it's bouncing off a current of air. This looks like it's bouncing off a bit of, like a physical object. Yeah, so the plan is um, Seb has some quite powerful lasers. Um, yeah. And so we're just going to go up and up and up and up. <laughs> as, as you get more and more powerful with the laser, what's going to happen first? Is the bubble going to bounce off the laser or is it going to pop the bubble? Because <laughs> if it pops the bubble, then it was never, ever going to bounce. It's never going to bounce. And we can be pretty sure that the thing is faked. Somehow. It might just not do anything. So at some point we're going to get beyond the types of laser that he's using in his video, but... Or are we? <laughs> is, is that a spoiler? I mean, I think, uh, I think everyone knows once Seb, <laughs> Seb is in the video, there's a big laser is going to come out. Um, so what level, talking about, tell me about the watts. So uh, yeah. up to five watts is the type of thing I would use in a, a presentation. Five milliwatts. milliwatts I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, five milliwatts. Really half a milliwatt. They're usually half a milliwatt. Okay. They're usually very low power. And you can usually see a little red dot with that. So what are, what are our stages today? That we're gonna... So the first one we're going to use, handheld 50 milliwatts. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, do you know what? It, it did move, but I think it's because it hit the, the haze fan. Oh, the haze fan. <laughs> you know, like we might have accidentally just faked it. Turn the haze fan down. Because you were saying there was something funny about the way it was holding it. Right? Yeah, you, you'd just be like that, wouldn't you? Bouncing it off the laser, like holding it like this. Yeah, so why is he like that? Bouncing, bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> just literally, oh look, can you see that when it goes through It's the pretty bar, cool. It makes like a disc. No, it doesn't literally... Nothing, nothing. nothing. quite stupid now. Yeah. I don't know about you. No, I do. Like, I mean, my instinct was it was fake and I feel silly now for even testing it, but we now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but let's get bigger. So what's the next laser up? Three watt laser. Three watts. 3,000 milliwatts. So if you're comparing it to like a half a milliwatt laser pointer, it's 6,000 times more powerful than that. Oh, come on, there's loads there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one went in. Do you know what? It... There, look. Did you see that one went right through? Yeah. 
And nothing happened. Nothing at all happened. <laughs> That's good, yeah, do it. Look at that. Whoa. Beautiful. This is a quite a long lasting bubble, isn't it? Look at that. Oh wow, the reflections are amazing. I'm glad we're wearing our goggles, Steve. Yeah. I wouldn't fancy doing this with a bigger laser. So there's nothing, it's not bursting the bubble or anything. It's not doing it anything. It's just reflecting. Yeah, I'm not feeling any force. The bubble isn't deforming in any way. Uh, just burst, that could have been the laser. Could, yeah, let's say that was the laser 10 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> so either the original video is fake. Oh, or we're gonna need a bigger laser. Ah, oh, a couple of them with it, yeah. Or we need a, an 11 watt laser. <laughs> All right, let's get the 11. Oh, that was straight yes. through. Did you get that one? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh, straight through. That was super bright as well. Got a couple there. Whoa. Oh, geez, that's really. That's crazy. It's a bit scary. Though. That is going in my face a little bit as well. Yeah, just look away. Okay. I'll drop it down. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's really terrifying. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Do not try this at home. <laughs> well, it burst eventually, but I don't think that's because of the Definitely laser. Definitely the laser. <laughs> Definitely the laser. Now, I've got a new project called Laser Light City, where we need lasers to be visible in the sky from a long distance. So I've just bought some 30 watt lasers. 30 watts. And I've brought one of those today. It's so heavy. So how much brighter than a... Half a milliwatt, 60,000 60, times 000. more powerful. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty serious. And at that point, we've got to be really careful. So we're going to be taking all the precautions we need to. We've got all the documentation together. We'll be wearing safety goggles when appropriate. Okay. It's all fine, don't worry. Okay. I've got I'm a fire so extinguisher. <laughs> okay. Right to be nervous, but... It's good to be nervous. With the three watts and the 11 watts, you can sort of hold your hand in front of it, a strong beam. Yeah. For a small amount of time, it will start burning. In fact, in the Tom Scott video, he was like, is this going to burn me? And I was like, yeah. And he held his hand in front of it and it's like, oh yeah. So it Did that make it into the video? I don't yes, it, I think it's in my video. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if it's in his. But the 30 watt laser is so powerful, like you can't even put your hand in front of it at all. It immediately burns you. Oh my gosh. So, um, is anything it hits is going to burn unless you're firing it into the sky? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or, you know, obviously uh, the further away the laser gets, yeah. the, the, the slightly wider the beam gets and the less likely yeah. it's going to burn something. And there's lenses you can get as well to make it more divergent. But for today, single beam, <laughs> focus as possible. All that 30 watts is going to be in the space that big. <laughs> How do you feel about me holding one in the beam on this one? I think you should do it. <laughs> I think you should probably not look directly at it. Okay. Wow, I got a flash at one point there. Okay, so let's gradually put the power up. I'm right zoomed in. Okay, so that's full blue. That's full green. That's full red. Oh my god, it looks incredible. It's not having any effects. No. On it. I'm seeing the reflection down on the ground. Can you get that on the ground there? Uh, yeah, it's just doing nothing. Scaring the Jesus yeah. Nothing at all. No. Oh, yeah, there's a droplet down the bottom, which is dangerous, I think. So let's sack that off. Boink. Even with a laser that would burn your skin instantly, a bubble seems to um, n not feel anything because it's transparent, yeah. right? Like, I mean, you know, your skin can absorb heat, absorb light energy, like it can absorb electromagnetic radiation energy, but a bubble doesn't so much because it's transparent. To really hammer that point home, here's a black balloon being popped by a laser while the outer transparent balloon isn't affected at all. That was fairly damning, wasn't it? It's pretty conclusive. Like even the most powerful laser <laughs> did absolutely nothing. Physics stack exchange. Yeah, the physics stack exchange is like a couple of 
I mean, you can't blame us for like thinking maybe, right? <laughs> when all these physicists are like saying, yeah, I, I don't know, maybe. And there's equations and everything. There's loads of equations and then... There is was, there was one last thing I wanted to try. Just with the, just with the Hanna, what was that? 50, was that 50, 50 milliwatt? 50 milliwatt, yeah. Just, this, just one more yeah, thing. Exactly. Just to put it to rest. I know it's stupid, but... Well, look, it's in the right place. Oh, boing. Oh, yes! <laughs> boing. Ah. Look at that. Look at that. Run. Oh, look at that. That was amazing. Yeah. Unbelievable. How do we do that? Literally unbelievable. Yeah. If you want to find out how that was done uh, and whether it was real or fake. Well, it was fake. It was fake. But, um, or but was it? Was it though? Yeah, it was definitely. It was, it was definitely fake. fake. But, but how was it done? So to find out uh, how it was done, head over to Seb's channel um, where we go into the whole setup of how to make that work, whether it was real or not. It wasn't. it wasn't. It definitely it wasn't. wasn't. But it might have been. Who knows? You'll have to go and Who find out. Who even knows? Won't you? Look at the channel and Who see. Who even knows? No we one know. knows. We know. We, it well, was yeah, fake. We know. But, but go over there to find out for sure and see how we did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. I've been mulling over the relationship between intuition and science. It's really interesting. There's a lot to say on it, actually. This video is getting quite long already, so I'm going to make it a separate video. It's actually an exclusive for my patrons on Patreon, who I'm really grateful to. Link to that in the description. Do check out Seb's video and subscribe to his channel. There's some really good stuff on there. Also check out the original video from Igor Beletsky. He's got some fun stuff on his channel too. I'll put both videos in the end screen and in the description as well. You're the sorts of people who enjoy watching educational videos. And you know, sometimes you just wish like someone would just curate your watching experience for you. You know what I mean? Just say like, you don't have to worry about searching for the good videos. These are the good ones. Curiosity Stream is really good at that. They're sponsoring this video. Curiosity Stream was founded by the person who founded the Discovery Channel. They're just really good at picking out, like these are the videos where you're gonna learn something, you're gonna enjoy it, you're gonna get that kind of fizzy brain feeling that feels so good. Like that's the feeling I'm chasing all the time, if I'm honest, <laughs> you know, like, when you learn something new, you're just like, oh, that's so good. Um, anyway, check out these categories. That you've got science, history, technology, nature, society, lifestyle, kids, they've got subheadings under all those, look under science, physics, space, mind. Let's take a look at physics. Oh, look, there's Jim Al-Khalili. There's Helen Chersky. Two really good recommendations there just to get you started. Obviously, you can watch Curiosity Stream on your computer and your phone and your tablet, but you can also now get it direct onto your smart TV. Viewers of this channel are getting a really decent promotion, actually. If you go to curiositystream.com forward slash Steve Mould, use the promo code Steve Mould at checkout, you'll get a whole year for just $14.99. How good is that? Check out Curiosity Stream today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Wow.